we've got the technology, we've we've done enough studies now to know that this is both economically and technically viable. And we need to sort of get on and demonstrate small scale systems where where the international agreements are most needed is to make the common standards, make sure these things are developed responsibly, but also so that your solar power satellite can interoperate with my Rectenna. And so we build this very vibrant market of, of competing, but also collaborating designs. And so um, I, I had a, a, a wonderful meeting um, a couple of years ago with the Under Secretary General of the United Nations, Mamouna Sharif, and she was the director of UN Habitat, which is responsible for sustainable cities. And she was super excited by space-based solar power because she pointed out that it really democratizes energy access because the, the local mayor can just build a rectenna, which is kind of the cheaper part of the system, and then receive energy from space. They don't need to own the expensive space assets. And so those standards, international standards, to make those systems interoperate, I think is going to be very important.